Good day, citizens of the multiverse. I am Joshua, the original Zero, and welcome to my world-building project I dub The Edge of Chaos. For almost four years now, I have been creating creatures, characters, and imagining the vast lands that they would inhabit. But that was all on paper. Now I bring The Edge of Chaos to you for your own enjoyment and hopefully my works will inspire others to explore their own creativity and together we can create a vast multiverse the likes of which have never been seen before. But now with that tangent out of the way, please sit back, drink some water as we dive into the first resident of The Edge of Chaos I'll be sharing with you that I call Groundhog. Oh Groundhog, where to even begin with you? Taking inspiration from a nickname of Allosaurus and making it into a literal creature seems straightforward enough for my first drawing, and I actually made a version before the final design, but it's not right. Good, but not right. It looks too bulky for what I was intending and kinda looks like a dino penguin hybrid, which isn't a bad idea. But for the final design, I wanted something leaner, meaner, that perfectly personified its name. So I started off with a concept art of a mother bursting from the brush to protect its young from an unknown assailant. Inspired directly from concept art from the aisle, which looks absolutely great, I didn't want the piece to have any colour aside from black, white and shades of grey as that's all I really wanted for the effort I was putting into the piece. And to go with the piece, I added some lore going over the groundhog, how it acts in the wild, and how it behaves in domestication. So, without further ado, here is the lore. Resembling a cross between a bird of prey and a theropod dinosaur, Selahammer Minus, also known as the groundhog, brings the best of both worlds into its arsenal. Long, hook-shaped claws for gripping prey, a curved beak for tearing and ripping, large feet for pinning smaller creatures to the ground, keen eyesight, a long tail for balance, and a coat of feathers for warmth and display. The only thing worse than all these things alone is the fact that Selahammer Minus hunt in packs. Even running away from this beast is near impossible as the Groundhog is a quick and agile predator, keeping pace with most smaller creatures. As of right now, we do not know when this branch of theropod evolved, but it's believed that just as dinosaurs were evolving into birds, one branch decided to descend back to the ground. How this hypothetical missing link ended up in this new world is unknown, but what we do know is that this descendant is A widespread, B, successful, and C, should be avoided at all costs. Being so common, it's only natural that some of the native people here manage to tame a good population of these creatures. What astonishes me, however, was the clear affection and loyalty they display, especially since they're big enough to swallow their companion whole. But it would appear but as with Roostrich back home, so long as you can acquire eggs and build a bond with the young, this modern day dinosaur is as loyal and affectionate as a common canine. Utilized for combat prowess and hunting affinity, the Groundhog is a hit for both large tribes and lone nomads. Whew, let me tell you. Editing all the stream footage, adding images, making scripts, recording scripts, and looking up tutorials for DaVinci Resolve all within the span of four hours on a Saturday morning has definitely wiped me out. And sure, the video is short, but it's only the first video, the first of many, and I'm excited to get better at this over time. Making videos longer, streaming more, getting more efficient at video editing, it's all part of the journey. And I truly cannot wait to see where this journey takes me. Sharing this project, The Edge of Chaos, with you, the audience, has been a dream of mine 
for so long and finally taking a step in the right direction as maybe the happiest man in the world, honestly. But you're not here for the sappy stuff. So here, this is the first Groundhog attempt. Here is the revised concept art. Here is a size graph showing the life cycle from juve from uh, hatchling to adult. And finally, after abandoning the stream footage due to bad connection, my final render of Seller Hamo Minus for Groundhog. Please like and subscribe to be notified of future uploads. Join me on Twitch where you can chat with me and watch me draw live. And please take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching.